Dextrader.com. And today is April 20th, Thursday. And I know most of you that are in the chat room right now and you're watching this, too, you know that it's actually Thursday and not Wednesday. We're doing a webinar that's on Thursday afternoon for 12 noon. What the heck? Well, we're sort of mixing a few things up here. Today's a very special webinar that I'm putting that we put together. Um, let me get Mike in too. Completely forgot that he was there. Sorry, Mike. I'm going to add you in right now, buddy. Turn in. Oh, wait. I got to make you make presenter. Yay. There we go. Here he comes. You there, Mike? Well, hopefully, he'll get in soon enough. Okay. There he goes, buddy. How you doing? Good. You? Oh, I, I feel like a chicken with my head cut off, but in a good way. I don't know if that could be a good way, right? You look okay. for that. So we got we got Mike Ficka on board with us, uh, trusted trader, trusted partner. Worked his way up from he's like zero to hero. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. But you weren't a zero partner too. You were you were a million, and now you're ten million. So great. So Mike, you know of some of the stuff we've been we've been building and working on, and if you gave it like a scale from like one to a hundred from where we were back in August of last year to right now, where do you think that scale would fall into? Uh, what, what number do you think? Uh, I would it'd be over a hundred. It, yeah, it, it's, it's changed so much since I started with the company. Right. And it, it's tremendous. And do you think that that growth, where do you think that growth came from? Where do you think that us being able to grow, where do you think all that stuff came from? I, I think it, it came from, um, you know, uh, you, Brian, Amy, myself, uh, and, and our investors, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to see something different, something more. And, and you've delivered in every step of the, uh, uh, of the way. Right. In order to do that, you have to be able to listen. We've said this a few times in different webinars that you have to be able to listen, but not just listen, but be able to hear what they say. You can listen to what somebody says to you, but unless you physically hear it and can act on it and use it, uh, a few times you have to move ego out of the way because, you know, members are telling you, hey, I don't like this. I don't like that. I wish you had this. And some people can get, hey, this is, if this was the old me, if this was the four year ago me, I would have been like, what do you mean? I got the best system in the world. Leave it alone. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the creator of my world. Leave me alone. Um, but I had to learn a lot of hard lessons. You know, lost a lot of customers in the very beginning. We had to bring them back for various reasons. We had to really focus on the individual as the trader, somebody to be here. So today's webinar is very special to Mike, myself, and Amy and Brian, um, who are all here. The four major components and the, the, the secondary components of this company, Paul and um, Vivian and other people, Tim W., Thor, you know, and I'm, I'm saying secondary not because you're not important, but because you are which is Mike and everybody else are. You, you hard work and everything else you do. Those people, the main partners of the company, are all here on this webinar right now. And this is how important it is to us, not just for what we're about to show you, but what we're doing, but for what's about to come. I had a, a sort of, before we get started, I had an epiphany here just recently. And it was not one like you get like, you know, the flux capacitor kind of epiphany, right? <laughs> it, was, it was sort of inner reflection. I had, a, I had a couple, you know, remember I said you got to be able to listen, Mike, and customers? Oh, yeah. I had one particular customer who kind of got, who got me a little bit. And even though I've been told this before, that, you know, you got to finish what you start, you got to, you know, you gotta, I have a process that I build with. And it's called the alpha beta mentality, right? I get in with an idea, I put something down on paper, and then I build it. And whether or not people are ready for it or not, I, I don't build it out to perfection. I build it out so people can use it. Test it, break it, screw it up, mess it up, all right? In this beta release process, I begin to look at what works, what doesn't work. And if it doesn't work for the general person, then I really don't progress with it. But if it does work, then you got to progress and finish it. And I was having some, I guess you can call them, you know, extra children running around that, that weren't finished. And I took this to heart. And I knew that if we needed to, if we, if we wanted to progress with all of you and wanted to make this the best system for everybody, not perfect, but the best, 
that we needed to be able to to listen to what everybody was saying, apply those attributes to the company, and be able to help as many of you as possible get to your level of success. In order to do that, we needed to sort of revamp some things. Most of you know, as we get started into this, before we really get into it, we're going to talk about some pretty edgy things in here today. So I want you all to know that trading in financial instruments carries a high level of risk, not only to your capital, but possibly to losing more than you initially invest. And trading in financial instruments may not be suitable for all investors and is intended for people over 18. Please ensure that you are fully aware of these risks involved and if necessary, seek independent financial advice. Futures, swaps, and options tradings involve risk, which may result in financial loss and are not suitable for everyone. Any trading decisions that you may make are solely your responsibility. The information presented herein for educational purposes only. The contents here of after are not an offer or solicitation of an offer to buy or secular financial instruments like on like listed on Nadex or Forex.com. Past performance is not indicative of future results. We do not and cannot guarantee the use of our services will generate you profits, and we do not and cannot take responsibility for any losses to your accounts. You must trade and take sole responsibility to evaluate all information provided by this website and the use of your and use of it at your own risk. All trading information we provide is intended as educational and trade assistance only. And of course, Mike, all results may vary. Thank you very much. <laughs> that is the first time I've read it full through in a very long time. Since I've known you. And, and the reason I did so today is because I want you as a consumer, as a member, as an investor, as a partner, as a friend, as family, to know that I'm freaking serious right now. That this world that we're about to be into is one that we've been preparing for for a very long time. And in order to be able to get there, you need to know that this isn't a cakewalk. And it's it, you sometimes have to do the things you could you all know me in a way, right? Some of you know me that I hate the risk disclaimer, right? It's like it's telling people don't drink the Windex. OK. But for me, I know that I needed to change a little. Now, will I ever read it fully again? Probably never. But <laughs> the, the lawyers like face palm. Let's get started. The topics we're going to talk about today are the deck signals move, and we talked about some of that stuff previously. But I wanted to give you a heads up what's happening and how that's you know affecting the the network, uh, the Dex Trader profile system, yay, and educational forex system and spread system. And of course, I'll finish out with some final thoughts. Let's jump right in. The DexSignal.com move. This is some great news, folks, because the success we've had from moving people from Dex Signals over to Dex Trader has been enormous. We've had a huge response to this, especially since the DEX signals process itself was originally invented for just a signal network um, and, and, and a platform. We wanted to be able to graduate into other things like trading information and learning stuff, but we felt like the name of DEX signals really keyholed it to be just signals, as you know. So we asked people to simply not abandon account over there, but don't cancel it, don't do anything. Just go to DEX Trader, get a free account, We'll comp you as long as you keep your deck signals account going and the, you know, you'll still have act that stuff over there, but you're, you're going to get all the real work and all the real tools are over in Dex trader and all the great training that we have over there. So this move has happened and we've moved hundreds of people over and thank you so much for that, uh, clean move that we've had. Now there's some, still some stragglers. Don't worry. You're not going to get locked out of your account. Something's going to happen. Uh, you might have some issues every once in a while trying to get to some of the training modules as we move some of the stuff. You'll see some inundated, outdated stuff over there. Uh, so make sure that you do, if you're watching this after the fact, make sure you do get over to DexTrader.com and get yourself a free profile. Then let Amy know that, hey, I moved over, comp me up, get me in, I'm ready to go, knock on the door, let's make it happen. Mike, you got your account moved over? <laughs> I do. Sorry. I have my profile, everything's good. Yeah, All right, so, yeah, I know. We'll, we'll talk about that here in a second. Okay, so one of the things that we knew that we needed to do with making Dex Trader the, the, the best system for you was to be able to identify with you more. 
we wanted to give you a profile system that we could do this with, that we could identify with you and your trading life. And then to do so, I don't, listen, I'm, I'm a big proponent against Facebook. Not, I'm not one of those haters, but I do feel like it is a time robber, you know, and building social networks and community networks and platforms is utterly useless at times because they really have their thumb on it, right? No, everybody's like, I want to make the new next Facebook. No, I don't. I want to create something, though, that we can communicate with through cleanly, right? Chat rooms become sort of crazy, right? It's always about the scroll, scrolling up to see what somebody said on someone else. I want to be able to create a communication system through what we all do because we have a chat room on our site as well. But I want to be able to give you an opportunity to be able to talk to us cleanly, right? Because how many people here in the room have ever met a company that you can simply write an email to, go into a chat room or call, right? Big one, call. I don't want you showing it at my house, but <laughs> but to call, you can call and get myself or one of the other owners or even a senior level trader on the phone. I don't know too many of them. In fact, I don't know of any. In the history of me doing before I did deck signals, I've only ever talked to one person that was physically classified as an owner of a company, physically on the phone. And is one of our biggest competitors. And even he doesn't do communications and consults with individuals on a daily basis. He won't pick up the actual phone. I just happen to know his personal number. <laughs> and <laughs> and even though that's that's not saying a lot, it still it does say something for this industry is that their lack of connection with you means that they're afraid that if they lose, that personal connection could be used against them. And that's true. We take a big risk putting our, our real lives into the mix on who we are and what we are. You know who I am by you see my profile. You know that I have a real life and I have an address and I have I have I have momentum, I have dreams, I have goals, I have things that I want to do. I don't I don't I'm not just a trader, I'm a musician, I'm a family man. I love making video games. Yeah, believe it or not. My son and I, my twelve year old boy and I have a video game network called Shifting Sands. We play games with hundreds of other gamers throughout the times when I can. And I physically make video games. I'm a programmer. I'm a lover of fine bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> but that's me. How does that help my trading life? It it does in a way because it gives me it it gives me a soul. And you're gonna need that soul. You're going to need that responsibility of what you want to have as your life to help move you forward. Because those things aren't things that stop you. Those are things that empower you. And that is what's going to take you to the next level. I'm sorry, I'm, some tones going on in the back. So we've created this process on Dex Trader because we wanted you to have this availability to be able to meet and talk to us as well as soon once you meet to a, get to a certain level uh, others as well in this in this industry and you're going to see let me let me take you over real quick and show you just a quick uh value of now first off we've traded the we've changed the way the site looks right we put it into a real clean format we're changing some of the attributes as well of color and how things are moving uh sort of sort of something that you don't have the the main page doesn't just start the video anymore um, cause listen, we hear you, <laughs> we hear you every time somebody comes to the site, you're like, hi, this is Max. And you, you know, you know, so we listen. Okay. But when you log in now, there's some things that are still going to change from today to tomorrow, even to this next Monday, uh, which is going to be the final deadline for everything to be finished. But if you go to profile, you'll hover, once you're logged in, you'll see, it'll have your name here and it'll say your name and profile. Like mine's Max Barrow's profile. And I click on that. It brings me to my profile system right here on, on Dex Trader. Has my little ugly mug here. Has some of my links to my email address. Has my Facebook page. You could choose not to have these on there too by your by your details under the, your account and how do you edit it. Okay, you just go up to this edit, little edit button and you can choose not to have those things on there. And that's pretty cool too because if you didn't want to have your email address on there, you don't have it shown. See, make this feel hidden. You don't have to have your email address, right? You put your Facebook profile in there, you put you know, your website you want, you have a Twitter account you want to put on there, 
You can even set yourself the tags. And later we'll show you how to do some of this stuff. Because it'll Max, we lost uh, audio. Or is it just me? Yep, Max, no audio. Oh, okay. No audio, Max. Oh, no, I lost sound. No oh, audio. Okay. There you go. I got you. Everybody, is everybody back? Okay. That happens sometimes when we when we shift over to the uh, to the system here. So we're, we're back. Okay, good. All right. So let me jump back over. Can you guys hear me now? Still hear? Yes. Me? Okay. Mm -hmm. What was the last thing you heard? <laughs> um, ugly mug. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so here's my ugly mug on the profile system. <laughs> <laughs> um, there, there is a, there's a lot to do inside. You can change your edit. You can edit your, I don't know if you guys seen that before, but you can edit your, your process here. If you go here, you can make certain things show up on, you can put your own bio in, you can post stuff to your personal wall, which is very simple. Add to wall. Okay. You'll have, you can share what other people share on their walls too. You can friend others. You can, you can. And soon, once you get to a certain level of being a profile, like you'll get certain points, right? That you'll get access to other things. And the other things will be things like trading series, uh, free indicators, uh, memorabilia. Yeah, I know, t-shirts, hats, that kind of stuff, great stuff, right? But also later on, because we're, we're trying to develop this point system around being able to um, um, use that as discounts for the site. You know, and to be able to uh, get monies off uh, certain amounts once you reach a certain point level. Okay, it'll also help you get to those elite and seniors uh, levels and and other levels that we're going to be providing as well. Okay, under this profile system, all your training and what levels you are in training. I'm terrible. I didn't even do any of the Navex Ninja. I should be fired. <laughs> Mike, you still there? Yep. Okay. So and then you got your account. You can go through and look at your subscriptions. You can look at all your process here. So, so pretty cool. So building that profile system is, is, is very powerful. Okay. All right. Everybody's just messaging me lost profile. Okay. So building the profile system was very powerful for us because we knew that we needed to identify with people. And that's what you're going to have to do now is somebody once told me that you are a, some of the people that you hang around with. Do you agree with that statement, Mike? I, I, I do. I do. The more negative people you hang around with, the more negative you become. The more positive people, the more positive right. you become. Very oh. firm believer in that. By the way, I, I, may, I may have forgot to show you that another process is this trader's feed. You want to talk about communication? Here's something that's huge. I don't know what that picture is, but that's cool. <laughs> All right, it's we, young we had Paul a little... Davey. <laughs> is young Paul Davey, right? There he is. So, the um, being able to share your your trades, being able to do all this stuff, pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff in here that's that's being able to be utilized within um, Paul's world and within all of ours. We're all able to communicate and show that these things are actually happening. So that's pretty cool. You can also follow others that when they put trades up and they put things up, that you can see that they're up as well. So you do get an opportunity to be able to see others that are trading and see their results and see their successes. And this is huge for all of you because until you begin to see it for yourself by seeing it in others, you don't really trust it. Even though that you can see it in others, sometimes you still won't trust it because there's you never know who's faking what, right? Do you ever go to one of these websites and they're like, learn how to trade with this powerful system of 65%. And they show you one trade. Right? They show you one setup. And they expect you to think that it's supposed to work every single time. No. If you don't have connection with something, how are you to trust it? If you can't trust it, how are you to use it? 
We're going to talk about a system right now that sort of stemming to read the entire disclaimer this morning is because the Forex network, trading Forex, up to this point, most of you that are in the room have been trading on Nadex and learning how to trade things on Nadex. Nadex is a completely separate entity from the network. Nadex is an exchange. They're not a broker. And they, they have what they call market makers. And market makers are not your friends. Okay? No matter how great Nadex is, the market makers on Nadex are not there to make you money. Do you agree with that statement? What are they there for? They're there to take your money. They're there to win. And so they're going to create the different levels of contracts that are available and the market price on Nadex. And they're going to create that solution to their advantage, not to yours. So why would learning how the Forex networks work and how, how the psychological levels and how market makers manipulate the networks, how will that benefit you even trading over at Nadex? Because it's information, right? And information leads to what? Money. If you know where these levels are, if you know how to, it operates, you can, you can benefit on it on either side. You can think like a market maker. How can you win? How can you take advantage of this level being at a certain level? So, my word of warning besides a disclaimer is before you begin, you must know that trading Forex is very, very tough if you're not prepared to work at it. And you have to have you have to have a look at it. Some of you are trading in a five-minute series right now, MDM five-minute series with Mike Ficka. And you're trading in this process and you're learning that the loss needs to be there, right? There's always going to be a loss. Anybody who has 100% win, you might as well run the other way because they're liars. Okay? So you're learning. You're going to learn that the loss here on this side can actually be your friend. And I'm going to show you what that's going to look like here in a second. There is no one solution out there that works all the time. We know that. There's no one system that creates a always winning consistency. Now, by sheer knowledge alone, some of you that are in this room have a, a huge experience level of Forex and some of you don't know anything about it and that's okay. But in the room itself, could you answer me one question? How much, how much does it take? What, what percentage of success do you need to make to make money in Forex? What is the success rate you need? What is that percentage you need? Does anybody know in the room? Can anybody in the room say, you know, type into the little chat room there, what percentage rate you think you need to be successful? and how much that is, how much percentage you need. Like what's your win rate success need to be? Rich says no set percent. Depends on win losses. Well, right, but how, how, what's that percentage? 50%, 100%, 60%, 30%, what, what percent success do you need? Thor says 51%. 51%. Right. Eddie says 62. Jim Friction says 70. Pete says 60. You're all right. What if I were to tell you that 48% could win you money? Even as low as 46% could still win you money. It's all a matter of the movement, right? It's all a matter of when do you make the trade? What's my movement amount, right? If you had an R1, which is a, let's just say a return value, right? Just a, a risk reward, if you will, value. And that if you risked $20, $20 to make $20, your R value would be what? One to one. 
right? In the world of Nadex, you actually have to risk $80 to win $20 at an ITM. At an ATM, usually in between ATM, you could probably get away with, Mike, what are you guys using on a five minute right now? 62.38? Yes. You're risking $62 to make $38, right? So these are values of percentages. How much do you need now? Nadex makes it very easy, right? Sort, sort of. They say, okay, in order to win now on this ITM method of risking 80 to win $20, what's my success rate need to be? 81%, right? Because we have a dollar that has to come out for fees. On, on the MDM system, we only need 63% success. Right? You're almost like flipping a coin at that point. Now, out of all the scenarios in there, if you played the market and it was fair across the board, if you risk 20, you always made $20. If, or if you risk uh, $10, you, you always made $10. You know, yes, then 51%. If you're on the one, usually about 50, 51 to 53%, depending on the what? The bid, the bid ask spread, the spread, right? You, you've all heard of this, the spread on, on, on Forex. It's the bid ask spread. It's what the difference is between what the, the, what the market is at and what the broker is holding it at so they can make a couple extra bucks. That's how they make their money. There's other ways to make their money um, in, in the markets, depending on what type of broker they are and where they fall. Okay, and we can explain that stuff into training. I won't get too much in depth with that today. But I wanted you to see that 51 to 53% is that, is that level. But we're just going to call it, right? Let's just say 50%. We're going to call this the 50% line. And this is important for all of you to understand in the world of Forex, in the world of anything, of trading anything, when you have a binary, and what does binary mean? It means one of two sides, okay? An up, a down, a sell, a buy, a win, a loss, that kind of stuff, right? And why can 48% work sometimes is because, listen, if I have two trades and the first trade comes out and it scalps out, and it hits it, it hits its stop loss at 20 pips and I lose 20 pips. But the next trade I come on, I hit 60 pips. See where I'm going? And the next trade I come on, I hit I hit minus 10 pips. I could still be under 50%, be underneath here, but yet be in a positive ROI, right? So it really depends on how well I can evaluate the market at the time and what to take my profits at and where to take my losses at. And it's that evaluation that you're going to focus on in your training and not so much the success rate. And why is that? Well, in order for us to make things work and not just sit and say, okay, at exactly one o'clock every day, you're going to flip a coin. If that coin lands on heads, you're going to go with a sell on the Euro USD. All right, too much guessing. So we needed to have some event stuff happening. We created an algorithm, right, which we normally do. But here's where a lot of people falter. When they create an algorithm, they put it into testing. The first thing they do is what, Mike? What do they What do they do when they first create the algorithm? Back test. Ah, back testing, right? And back testing has the success rate. Right? That, it, that it pops out. Now, if they're a reputable company, they're going to pack test. But then what are they going to do? What are you going to do if you're a reputable company or a reputable person who's making an algorithm? Once you back test, what are you going to do then? You're going to forward test. You're going to test from the moment, right? Because anytime we're looking backwards, we can kind of see what's happened forwards, right? Just a little bit. I mean, we go back a year. We can look at each trade that's coming up and go, okay, that, that came out, but because it went up, uh, it, you can force the algorithm to be correct in backtesting. I've seen it a thousand times. I've had to learn to train myself not to look it forward when I'm backtesting, when I'm looking uh, with my eyes at, at the system, but in training the system as well on how to trade, I had to use some very 
very strong-willed process because these things have already come to bear and have given us some incorrect percentages. And I learned something a, a, a long time ago um, that every single asset always comes back to the mean, which means that no matter how good your algorithm is, where does it come back to? It comes back to that 50% just a little bit above and a little bit below. And this is the mean we call, oops, wrong side. We call 60% and 40%, right? So from here to here, this is where all trades, no matter how great they are up here, yay! And they all come back to this, you know, come back, oh, yay, it's going great. Or it's not going so great, but it's coming back. They all come back to that mean, right? So if this is the 50% line, let's get back over to this, and our algorithm gets in there and trading, we're forward testing, right? And let's say this is the percentage. So this is like a scale chart, right? So if this is the 50% success rate, right, right? And up here is 100%, and down here is 0%. So you win, you win the first trade, right? And you're up at 100%. You lose the second trade, now you're in the 50%. <laughs> Right, you win the third one and you're right around here. Win, you win the fourth one and you're here. You see, so first one, second one, you're right here, and you're there. Right, you lose the next one and you're right about here. Lose the third one, you're right here. Use the fourth one, you're right here. You get it. So what does this look like? <laughs> Looks like the market, right? Now depending on how well. The algorithm is doing we can create a positive right let's write that over here positive or negative result value is everybody seeing this now by show of yeses does this make sense to you what i've written on here right now has anybody ever talked talked to you in this manner about an algorithm or a system or trading has everybody ever showed you that this exists this is a well-kept secret amongst all mathematicians, amongst everybody in the market, that every algorithm can be played in this solution. And you can create, if you're real with yourself, a good positive flow of money. So let me show you how this works. I have it if I let's just say we're going to call this the euro USD okay if the euro USD has won enough to be let's say 54% success rate let's say that's where this line is and so it's graduated to this line a whole bunch of trades have happened you know we had some wins we had some losses so it kind of looks like this a little bit right right and it's gotten to 54% is that a positive algorithm or an, or a negative algorithm positive so if this algorithm said do a sell you would do what you would follow the the process of doing a sell trade right? in the opposite format if the usd did was doing pretty well and then all of a sudden it started to crash a little bit you know and maybe it's coming back up in here and it's sitting at let's say 42 percent success rate this is then considered a negative positive or negative algorithm and if it's said to do a let's see who's got this right from the get-go what would you do now eddie i love you you are awesome you are brilliant thank you for being quick on the spot you would ignore the sell ramifications and you would set this up as a buy why well because the algorithm is telling you that hey when I, when all things are perfect when all things are working you're either on the positive side of the algorithm or the negative side this isn't right or wrong this is positive or negative this isn't win or loss this is is, is the algorithm if you keep the algorithm straight and let it do its thing it's going to tell you what side of the trade you need to be on. Isn't that sick? 
Now let me show you. Let me show you the pitfall. If you just started trading with the process and you seen 100% success, would you trust it? If there was only one or two trades on, would you trust 100%? Would you be like, I'm all in because it's the 100 No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't trust 0% either, would you? Why? Because we don't have enough data. So I'm going to teach you, don't trust 100% or 0%. Can anybody else tell me what other percentage I wouldn't trust at this point? Come on, you can do it. Come on, Superstar Eddie. What, what other percentage wouldn't I trust? 50%. Look at you. <laughs> Spanking it. Yeah, Tim, you're right. Absolutely. I wouldn't trust zero and I wouldn't trust 100, but I also wouldn't trust 50. Because you don't know what side it's going to come on to. But later on, you could trust 50. And I'm going to show you how to use this 50% marker in there to do something called an iron condor or a hedge trade where you'll be using spreads to trade up and down. <laughs> I'm sneaky, ain't I? <laughs> so we have that in our algorithm. But once we have the positive mentality behind the algorithm, once we know is it positive or negative, and we know now what we have to do, what, what happens next? So the first part of the series is you're considering, you're considering positive, negative, right? So plus or minus, right? Here's positive, here's negative. We got that, right? Equals, and we're going to say it's a positive trade, right? And it's for a sell, and you have the number. All the numbers are on the, on the sheet, which I'll show you here in a second. The second thing you do is you're going to do one thing that a lot of traders forget, and you're going to look left, right? In fact, you're not even really going to do that first. You're going to take, you're going to take the equals of what this came out to be. It's like, so this is a, this is a positive, all right, and it's for a sell. You're going to have the number 1.1001, right? You're going to have this number is for a sell, and you know that you're going to follow with a sell because if this was negative, this would be a buy. You'd still use the same number because this is the current price, right? You're going to go to your platform. And you're going to put your trade on for 20 pip stop loss and 20 pip take profit immediately. And you're going to set, you're going to set the trade. And I'm going to show you inside the training. Okay. Everything will be finished by Monday. And I was showing Mike this morning on how to go do this. You simply leave here and you go to your, your, your trading platform, which I'll either show you in, I'm going to show you in forex.com's trading platform. That's going to be your first one they're going to show you. But I'm also going to show you this in how to take the trade on, on the spread system as well. And we're going to, and I'm letting the cat out of the bag on spreads, but there's certain things that you got to watch out for. But you're going to go and you're going to do this in a, a stop loss. And if you don't know what a stop loss is yet, don't worry. This is, this is your protection. This is the save your ass time. See why? But there's conditions in there too. You got to be careful of, right? So you're going to go put this on. Then your third thing you're going to do, okay, and your most one of your most important ones is you're going to look left, right? And looking left is that you're going to be doing what we call trim the fat, right? And trimming the fat comes down to one thing. It's knowing what structure looks like, okay? It's knowing that in your trading, you need to see where other people have made their stand in the ground remember trading forex is two it's two armies fighting there's bulls and there's bears and if whoever wins gets to put their flag got it gets to put their flag into that series so if it's red it's a bear if it's bull, blue it's a bull that means that the people that were trying to make the market go up won. if it's a if it's red and it's a bear and it's going down it means the people that are trying to sell off the market won Right? So it's that war, it's that structure, it's the battle scars amongst this, the, the area. Let me show you what that looks like. And most of you know what a tr trade system looks like, right? You know what the series looks like. Now, I'm showing you a chart 
that has no indicators on it. None. Zero. Zip. Zilch. Right? And I'm showing you that it has, it has no templates added to it. It has no secret sauce to it. Right? In fact, I can't even pull up anything that says out, you know, because there's no, there is no indicators on it. If I wanted to put indicators on it, I could put a whole bunch of stuff on here. But I'm going to show you right now, and some of you have seen me do this before, okay? We're going to move over to the, the left a little bit. I'm going to shift over so you can have some space here. But I like this white space. What structure looks like. So here's our time frame we're at right now. Can you guys see me okay, Mike? Everybody can hear me? Yep. Yep. Okay. And looking left is simply is guiding your face over <laughs> and looking this way. Finding what structure has happened. Now, sometimes you need to find structure, you need to pull out some, right? Because sometimes the market's up here and, you know, previous market's all the way down here. So you don't really have a lot of structure. You have to go back even further to kind of find structure, where does structure become, right? Like there's nothing over here for the Euro USD. Why? Because we're at like all-time highs. So I got to come out even further and be like, you know, I can't even come out any further from this. You know, we got something close all the way over here, but this is like, what is this? This is uh, March 29th at that point, right? You might have to come out to find structure from that far away. But sometimes finding structure is only a handful of, of bars back. So if I came into this and I was looking at this, no indicators yet, you're just using the signal still, no indicators yet, and I'm looking at this, and let's just say this is calling for a, uh, a buy, okay? And I'm looking at the structure, and, and not that this is a signal or anything, but I'm looking at it for a buy. And I'm going to show you how to make the trades inside the training on the systems, how to do exactly what I'm about to show you, which I showed Mike this morning. And in, in what, half hour, Mike, you learned how to do this? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. You follow the trade, you present it, whether or not it's a sell or a buy, right? Positive or negative on the algorithm. And you look left to trim the fat. So when you first get in, here's where you get in at, right? You first get in, let's just say, so it's sitting at um, 0748. So it's for a buy. So you would come down 0748 and you go down uh, 0728. And this is where your stop loss would be, okay? And then you would come in and have uh, 0748, so 07 uh, six, eight would be where your take profit is, right? And here's where your current price is, right? So 20 pips up for the take profit and 20 pips down for the stop loss, right? And this is an automatic, this is called creating, creating a box and this box that we created. Okay. And up and a down, right? You got a little bit of time feature. We tell you to keep it on, look, keep an out a value of about an hour, right? So, if this would have came out right now, so we'll just say an hour away. So just something like that. It would normally look like that. <coughs> but it's usually going to be on the top of the hour that's going to expire. Now, it doesn't mean you have to get out when it expires, but you're going to be looking at it. You're going to be validating whether or not this is something that you want to get out at that time. And I can show you ways, and I'm going to show you by just copying and pasting the information from the sheet, what that looks like when it happens. But what I'm showing you right now if you came in, whether or not this is a buy or a sell, whatever it's doing, it doesn't matter at the moment because you're going to have losses. But how can you trim the fat now? Because you've gotten into the trade, you protected, you got in at at the time, right? A lot of time in loss of trades could be down just to a couple pips because when that signal comes out, it's like something's happening, go pay attention. You get in. You get in, set your stop, set your take profit, right? Because what happens if this thing just plummets? It'll protect you at 20 pips, right? Or maybe it skyrockets, but yet you're still figuring out algorithms and should I go here or should the MACD and the support and resistance and no, you could actually lose money or make money, but either way, you got to protect yourself. You got to get in there and you got to get the trade on, right? Now, if this was a buy, okay, in most cases, from what I see right now, I don't even think, is there anything that came up here? Let me, let me go see here real quick. Forex. Paul Davey, what a handsome guy. Oh, by the way, this is the new Forex signal page, um, which will be finishing out here. It has its charts on it and stuff like that. 
I'm going to be using some uh, other ones on here. Okay, so there was nothing that came out here for uh, the, oh yeah, there it is, one o'clock. Okay, so the Euro USD, oh, for the buy, so it did come out, right? And this is a different, this is the different sheet that I have up there, Mike. So you're not used to seeing this one. There's two versions of this Forex sheet. This is called the vanilla sheet, right? And it doesn't show win loss area. I just tell you what to do, <laughs> right? But I want to show, I want to show you the other here in just a second. Let me find it real quick. Or educational. Okay, there we go. This is the other sheet. And this is called the algorithm, the positive algorithm sheet, right? The other is the vanilla sheet because we're experimenting with the psychological battle of what do people see, right? So we see, watch, right? You see this? Look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, the signal came out and it said 0757 was the actual current price for it to come out, right? So, and it's in, if it's, if it's a win percentage of 25%, what is that? That's, that's considered a what? Can anybody in the room? Thor, that was you? I didn't know that was you. I'm sorry. You look like Paul Davy. <laughs> Thor, you're a handsome dude. Eddie says a negative. He's absolutely right. It's a negative. It's beautiful, right? So you would, this wouldn't be a buy. This would be a sell from 0757, right? So we would go to our go to our trading platform, and this would be this would be our stop loss up here, and this would be our take profit, right? So now we have to kind of look at the mentality that if this is a sell, right? Oh seven eight, and it's oh seven six eight because we got in at oh seven. What did it say we were supposed to get in at? Um, right here, oh seven five seven. So oh seven five seven. I'm going to go ahead and put this to oh seven. Come on, there we go. 0757. I'm gonna put that to there, right? That's where we would have gotten in there, and we would have gotten in 0777, right? It's all the way up here. Here's where our stop loss would be, and our take profit would have been 0737 down here, right? This is what it would look like when we first got into the trade. Now that we know that it's a negative. Makes a whole different story, doesn't it? That's an actual signal, by the way. That's an actual freaking signal that happened with a negative return. So we wouldn't do a buy, we would do a sell. Come out here, right? This is when we got this is where we got in the trade by what it called it out. You've probably been in a pip or two lower, possibly, right? So once we got in, this protected us, right? Yay, we got our thing on. Right? We got in at this time period right here. Right? got in right about here at this on this on this bar so the cool thing is watch this you ready the cool thing is is that we got in right here if we trim the fat watch what happens I move this down because I've looked left and I've seen structure right where have I seen structure at Mike do I see it here or do I see it here they are kind of seeing both right so I can kind of see it in this process I see that this area right right. Yep. right right there so 0762 compared to 0757 right 0776 i'm sorry so that's what like 19 pips so 19 pips yeah about 19 pips all right i could probably even trim it out even further to right about 50 percent from here to here i could probably even trim it right around in this area 62 something percent right the Vinacci stuff pay attention I could do that right so if it gets to that point I'm out so if I make a positive so that's 16 pips so if I come down 16 pips right to there you would have won that okay look what happened got triggered it would have triggered out my take profit 16 pips. Anybody see that? You guys seen it, right? I don't know if you guys mm -hmm. seen it. Yeah, That's oh yeah. Trade. Yep. Okay. That's just one trade. And that turned into a half hour trade right there. Well, it actually was a little bit longer than that. 
Yeah, it's, 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 it started at, it, it came out at noon. Um, 12 o'clock, came out, came out at noon, and it finished, yeah, half hour into it. Done. 16 pips. And off you, you're off to the races. You want to look at another one? Let's look at another one. USC CHF. USC CHF on the sell, it's in a positive, right? Because it's at 57%. It's in a positive, so we would do a sell, 99.60, USD CHF. Let's see if I have it on my chart. There it is. I'm just going to slide this over. There you go. USD CHF. 99.60. 99.60. Here's where it came out. Oop, let me slide this over. Ninety nine. 60, right? You said 99.60? Yep. 99.60. Calls out for 99.80, right? You first get in, it's 99.80. You're up here. Right? That's pretty far. It's got to really go against you to, to hit that 20, right? And then you take profits 99.40, right? Down here. Now here's the thing, looking left, okay, because you, you got in, you got in at this time period right here, right? Got in right about that time period. So if I look left from this point, once I'm getting in, because this doesn't exist yet, right? I'm looking left, where's my structure at, right? Where's my structure that I can look left with, you know? I can go here because... If it's coming down and it's using a, a trend value coming down, so it's lower highs and lower lows, right? And I'm in for a sell, I want to look for those peaks. I can go to the peak of the, the top of the last peak, right? I'm looking for the highest of the high of the last peak, right? Right there. Let me see if that, I don't want to obscure that line. It had a wick on it. Okay. You can use this structure all the way down. We can put support and resistance on this thing, right? So what we're looking for now is that it's at 99.63. So we're, we're a little bit out of the margin here, right? But that's okay. Because remember, there's always, there's always wins and losses on this process. But how do you protect yourself? By creating stop losses on areas that have structure, right? If you got into here... You would have been too close to this peak for it to make anything de decent, right? And that's what you're going to learn in this side, is when when to use a peak this close. You wouldn't. You, you got in right here, so all this stuff was too close. So you use the next peak, and that's right here. And it kept you, it kept you protected. Now, that gave you 11 pips. So what do you do? You set your take profit at 99.60, so this would be... 949 right right there so 11 pips 11 pips and this is an r1 to 1 now in trimming the fat you keep the same as you're really looking left for your stop loss match it on your take profit but there might be opportunities for you to scalp out at better prices just get a little bit less you know you're risking a little bit more to get a little less or you could do something else called a continuation trade. And this is where you, you know that this thing is just going to be heading back down. If this breaks out, it looks like it's broken past this. This could be a reversal of trend, right? If this is happening and you can kind of see this, that it's, it's this trend here is broken down here. This is broken out. This may not have been a trade to get into. So you have to ask yourself, if I'm already broken, I'm, if I'm really close to breaking, when I hit this and closed out here, I would have lost two pips, but I would have broken the trend and broken my trade already because now it looks like it's it's heading into reverse. So these are things that you'll learn by looking a little bit left to see where the other structures are. And have I used a single indicator yet? Mike, what have I used so far? Nothing really. I mean, you just sense. put lines in there. Nothing. Common sense and looking at looking at structure. 
And this is not just for Forex, folks, because Forex drives the engine that drives Nadex. Forex drives the process that drives spreads. Forex drives the actual Forex market. This structure was created for us to follow to a certain level. But now remember, there's wolves at the door. Okay? And those wolves, okay, like I say, they, they like to herd their prey. So there's certain points that you got to kind of watch out for. Be a little bit higher in the structure or a little bit lower depending on each way because those those areas are to the stretch. Most people put their lines right on it. And guess what? Market makers know that, so they hit it. They come real close to it. They scare the shit out of you. Get in and get out and all that stuff. Right? They're playing with your emotion. But if you know that, you can avoid it. And that's where a lot of you, that's where a lot of you begin to learn the process. So we've talked about this and we're going to kind of recover here. Is the positive or negative the algorithm? It's all about data. If we don't have enough data, remember, don't trust it's 100%, 0%, or 50%. Trade on either one of those. Everything else can be used on a positive or a negative side. But do me one favor. Don't woulda, coulda, shoulda. Follow the rule. Stay solid with it. And if that works, make it work. If it doesn't, do something else. Like trade a different type of program. Don't keep trading Forex if it's not working for you. If five minutes is not working for you, we have plenty of other things to be able to do. But if you're going to trade something, trade it by the rules and the rule set. Learn how to use it completely before you abandon it. Okay? Now, this creation of the algorithm can be also used on spreads. And I really do want to show you that. I really do want to show you the process, what iron condors are and hedge trades and all that stuff. And that's that is coming inside the system. But before I do, I need to sort of set straight with a few of you what spreads really are and what they really take on Nadex, okay? You, in, in, in I only can compare them towards binaries, right? Most of you are used to trading binaries. But you have to know, spreads need volatility or movement of the market to be able to make you money, okay? They will not work if the market doesn't move. You won't make money. The good thing about spreads on the risk side is that it takes a lot less risk. It, 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 it's lower risk, but you will need more money to be able to trade, right? And, I, and I'll show you what I mean. There's a couple different variances in, in the process. You st some of you are used to putting $80 up for one contract, but there might be opportunities for you to really trade a box trade where you might have on your risk side, 120, 150, 250, or, or 125 right in that area, $100. Now, will you lose that entire thing? No, there would be everything I have to go against you in the world for you to be able to lose that, but you would still lose a big chunk of it. So you've got to be careful on which trades you take and which box spreads you take. But you make it per tick, okay? You do make money per tick during the premium, which I'll show you in future trading but you will make money in the process. Now there's less assets available as far as less, like in, in the binaries, there's five minute, 20 minute intradays, dailies and weeklies, where in spreads there's only intradays and dailies for Forex. Now also in um, like indices and commodities, there's other values in there as well, but we're just talking about Forex at the moment. Now the risk management is that in binaries, you're usually told to trade less. In spreads, I'm going to tell you to trade more. Yeah, I know. I'm always the one saying, if you touch the market more, you're going to lose more. That's true with binaries. In spreads, if you get an algorithm down and you get it in the process, you're going to have to trade more, especially in times when there's a lot of not, not, not a lot of movement. So I'm also going to tell you something I'm going against. You're going to learn how to trade during news. Oh, I just said it. I know. I let the cat out of the bag. Right? The system right now we're using for Forex uses the NA intraday algorithm, basically the NA, the, the news avoidance side of the algorithm. So I've created the process to be able to trade around the news, but I also have another system running in the background that's trading during the news as well. But again, positive, negative. I need to teach you how to read the positive, negative of the algorithm to be able to trade. Now, couldn't I just 
make the algorithm all just give you the same, don't be all that. Yes, eventually it'll be just that. But again, that's not the $97 a month process or the 147 or 247 or whatever you're paying. You want a positive algorithm that tells you exactly what to do in Forex, in that solution. Do you think somebody's going to charge $247 for that? No, they're not. The other is that it begins to change your mentality on the win and loss section of the process. You begin to learn and teach yourself even more. Now, we're looking to create a network with a lot of information. And that information is going to come from a lot from all of you working in, and with this system and working with different things we're doing. So what we have coming for all of you, and, I, and I'm putting this out not just for prosperity, but for also to, to let you know as a guideline, you can take a screen capture of this, you can pause the video, you can do whatever, write this all down, and this will all be done by the, by, by the first of next week, Monday, April 24th, is when we're releasing these things that we're talking about. The Looking Left series, a little bit of what I told you today, the spreads training, the Forex training, the Forex.com platform training, and the site training for the profile. That's going to be one of the first things we're going to be done. Okay, all this is going to be done by Monday, April 24th. Why am I telling you today? Why not just tell you when it's all released? Well, because we've been awfully quiet the last couple of weeks. We're with me moving and building the algorithms and building all this stuff and Mike and everybody else covering the processes. Um, I wanted all of you know to know what's going on, as well as those that are watching this on um, after the fact. You had to see that this process does work. You had to see that the solutions here are real and what we're providing for you is real. For all of you that are watching this After Effect, thank you so much for taking the time. Mike, thank you so much for being here again today. You are always the, you're, you're the proof in the pudding, man. You are the one that makes it all, all really, you've made it to, for all of us to, to see that you can get through that and climb through that. And what you've done over in five minutes is, has been extraordinary. Always a pleasure, Max. For all of you inside the room, we're going to try to do a very quick uh, questions and answers uh, for everybody else. You got a lot of stuff coming. I hope you're prepared. And if you haven't bought in yet, get in now. There's a lot of great stuff. We're going to have another version this tonight at 7 o'clock. Um, if you are excited about what's happening, I might even have some new stuff released. Please join us tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Same channel, same bat channel. Well, not same one. You'll... Uh, I think you got to go to the site. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use the same one. We'll see. But either way, you know which one to go to. We're going to be talking to a lot of people again. Um, but if you're watching us after the fact, um, please, please, please join us in, in, in getting the information out to everybody. Um, this company is now about to explode even, even in the Forex. And I got to tell you, from what I like, well, from what I've been seeing so far, I don't even have words for it. And that's a feat within itself. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to thank all of you for being here. And as always, trade well. Everybody else, stick in the room.